cool. Okay, um, so I don't do videos like this ever. I don't enjoy talking to the camera, but I think this is a video that just needed to be made. So I'm just gonna do, uh, let's try doing this, and then have something visual like subtitles. Okay, yeah, that's cool. So let's go back in time to the year 2017. Tyler the Creator released Flower Boy, Manatees were removed from the Endangered Species list, the lead singer of Linkin Park died, uh, Trump was inaugurated. Yeah, this was a pretty shit year. A very prominent topic of that year was when news broke out that movie producer and fucking creep Harvey Weinstein was accused of sexually abusing, assaulting, or raping over dozens of women. The world's reaction to the Weinstein effect was a huge shift in how we treated these cases from before, because almost for the first time, it seemed like these men were actually being held accountable for their actions. Kevin Spacey, after he was accused of sexual misconduct, was removed from the film All the Money in the World, and then Ridley Scott reshot all of his scenes with a different actor almost a month before the film was released, which is the most riskiest thing I've ever heard for a production of a film ever. But it got done. Director Brian Singer was also fired from the production of Bohemian Rhapsody and was replaced by Dexter Fletcher to finish it off. As made evident by all the people wearing black at the 2018 Golden Globes in support of the Me Too and Time's Up movements, it looked like Hollywood was actually starting to believe these victims in the aftermath of all these allegations. So let's fast forward a little to the present day to see where we're holding up and... And besides, I know what you want. You want me back. Okay, this is really weird. Well, I mean, at least the guy's in court now. What about Brian Singer? What the fuck? Okay, well, he's still gonna be out of a job, right? Like, I thought we pretty much established last year that- Oh, uh, okay. Um, well, Bohemian Rhapsody won't win any awards, right? Like, we're not gonna- And, the Golden Globe goes to... Bohemian Rhapsody. Okay, well, it seems like Brian Singer is not on that stage, so maybe Fox is trying to distance themselves away from him. What the fuck? Fox, the same company that fired Singer from the production of the film, is now asking the Oscars to consider him for Best Director. And the internet was pretty vocal on how they felt about awarding a film to an accused pedophile. The collective consensus from everyone seems to be, why? And the answer is a little complicated. From a surface level, it would just make sense for Fox to credit Dexter Fletcher so they can court someone that wasn't being accused of sexual assault for Best Director. But it's not that simple. And this can be blamed on these guys the Directors Guild of America, or the DGA. And I'm sorry, their logo just kind of looks like the NRA. Some background info, the DGA was an entertainment guild that was founded 83 years ago and blah blah blah. It's basically a workers union for directors, and as with all unions, there are rules that the employers, or the studios, must agree to hire these employees, or the directors, which is all found in this. And there's actually a great YouTube video done on the DGA's rules made by Andrew Saladino, and I'm gonna let his video do some of the explaining here. Section 7-503, a director who is replaced after directing 90% but less than 100% of the scheduled principal photography of any motion picture shall be the director of the film entitled to all the post-production creative rights set forth in this Article 7. And therein lies the punchline. Indeed, the punchline to a kind of sick joke. What this essentially means is that if a director is fired in the middle of production and replaced by another director, it all comes down to these arbitrary percentages that the DGA decided upon in their rules. And Dexter Fletcher had stated in an interview that he joined the film into the last few weeks of principal photography and editing, so it's very possible that Singer managed to reach that 90% mark to receive credit for the entire film. And Fox has to give credit too, they are one of the over 200 employees that agreed to these stipulations imposed by the DGA. They're contractually bound to put Brian Singer's name on this film. If Singer manages to snag a Best Director nomination this coming Tuesday, then what exactly was the point of Hollywood's progressive stance in the wake of all these allegations? By all means, I'm not saying Bohemian Rhapsody is a terrible movie and shouldn't win awards. I just think it's worrisome that nothing is really being done about this. The film industry needs to be more aware of how this is happening and how we can prevent this from happening. Whether it be removing Singer's credit or even changing this weird number they chose in the DGA's rules. Because if Hollywood wants the world to believe that they care about victims of sexual misconduct, then don't dress up in black. Actually do something about it. So I don't usually make videos like this, it's been a few years since I've actually talked to the camera about stuff I think about. Um, if these like video essay things interest you, please do share this one around. Um, I'm also going to leave a link in the description below to donate to the Time's Up Fund if you're interested. Uh, thanks for watching, I'm going to go to bed now, it's super late. <laughs>
So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching.